I'm Dan Brady with Dan Brady Painting and Wood Restoration. Welcome back to the third and final episode of our Retro Revive. And you can tell I'm working with all ladies. They made me wear the apron. So, but what I wanted to talk about today is this beautiful backdrop. We've got this 50s uh, beach glass type color that we put on the wall, but a big mistake most people make when they paint a big wall like this, it's down in a Deneen shop. It's a commercial wall, so there's a lot of imperfections in the wall so you want to make sure you pick the right paint and what we use on these walls is probably what I use in about 95% of the houses that I do is a, a ceramic matte paint the reason I like ceramic matte is it's a low sheen on the wall which gives you a lot of height hideability you don't see all the imperfections in the wall if you put a higher sheen paint on the wall like a satin or semi gloss you're gonna see every little imperfection in the wall so you can talk to the guys over at Northwood Paint about your wall paint, but I love ceramic matte paint for interior walls. And now I get to turn it over to Deneen and she's going to bring the third and final piece in, which is a cool retro table. Hi, I'm Deneen Dingaman and welcome to Charitable Resale. We've got our last piece that we're going to put into our retro kitchen and I have this lovely dinette set that I found and I really love it. I love the black wrought iron of the base of the table and the chairs, the chair swivel. Um, this dinette set is actually, the marking on the bottom of it is 1971. So it's probably about 20 years newer than our refrigerator, but I think that's okay. I don't think you have to have everything all the same exact time period because it just adds a little bit more interest. Otherwise, I think it could get a little boring. But I did change it, this, these were natural wood um, backs and arms on the chairs and I painted it the teal color that we are using um, for the rest of the kitchen and I knew what I wanted I wanted a retro bark cloth 50s fabric with teals and blacks and whites and boomerangs and I went all over looking for it and I didn't find it but I found this and I thought that this was going to be perfect and then when I put it on the chair it just I didn't like it it just looked too um, too outdoorsy, like a patio set. And I really like the black, because I think the black really makes it all pop. So I'm telling you this because I just want you to know that it's OK to make mistakes. And don't be afraid to say, no, this isn't working. So I'll give you one more little tip. The seat covers um, I'm doing in black now. But because it was last minute, I covered them with t-shirts, black t-shirts. You turn them inside out, so they're all turned inside out, so then you have a solid black t-shirt or whatever color. Um, so if you're doing a dinner party and you want to do an over-the-hill theme and you want black t-shirts or you want to do something red for um, Cinco de Mayo, or you can just change it out for a night. And the t-shirts being that knit work really well. <laughs> 